So in my recent videos, I've been talking about a lot of games where the GM has less authority than they do in a traditional model. Now, some people push back against this idea. However, I personally believe there's always a value in questioning our basic assumptions. With that in mind, I want to take a look at how the power dynamic changes will affect the game in various ways. So first I want to lay out what types of authority GMs traditionally have over games. There is narrative control, story, rules, and there is some social dynamic that factors into it, however I don't want to get into that. We're going to stick basically to the power within the game. For each of these, I want to discuss what happens to the game if the GM exercises full control over that aspect, no control over that aspect, or shares that authority, as much as I can for each example. Let's start with narrative control. Now, I have previously done a video that covers this topic in greater detail, but to cover it briefly, narrative control is the ability to define the sights, the smells, the flavor of the setting around you. And traditionally, this is something that falls heavily into the GM's realm, but if it's shared with the players, they might get to define more than just their character. So the GM taking it to an extreme, the player would only be allowed to define what's on the character sheet, or maybe a little bit about the appearance of their character. But on the other hand, if it's taken to the players being given full authority, then they would be able to control everything about the world around them. I will concede that giving players some narrative control can and likely will affect the story outcome. Now, if that's for the better or worse, is to be seen. This is something that I find is best shared, but it's often a matter of opinion, finding that right amount of balance. If in doubt, the GM could always give the players control of the narrative whenever they are comfortable with that. Now let's move on to the authority over the story. This is related to player agency, which I've also discussed before, but I think we're all familiar with the concept of who gets to control what the story is about. If the GM exercises total authority over this, the game can be very linear, or in the case where it splits, it can only split in directions that the GM has previously prepared for the players. This might actually end up resembling a video game or a novel in terms of the character's options are what is written. Now many people might hear of a game where the control over the story is given entirely to players and consider that to be a sandbox game, which it could be, but it could also be a game similar to Fiasco or Shock, where granted those are GMless games, where the story is shared amongst the players and they might still have some structure to it but they take it in whichever direction that they feel is most interesting. Now following down this path can lead us to some arguments that are very common on the internet that a game where the GM is not in control of the story is directionless versus a game where the GM is in total control of the story they may as well write a book. I don't want to go anywhere near that. I'd like to talk theory, I don't want to get into mudslinging. So that is actually where I'm going to drop this. Now let's move on to rules. This is again a topic I've covered before, but not so much with the theory of sharing control. Many games give the GM total authority over the rules. This can lead to situations where the GM will change, add, or subtract a rule when it best suits the narrative or the pacing or whatever the case might be to have the game flow and play better. On the other hand, it can also lead to situations where the GM will change or add or subtract a rule to best suit the story that they want to push, put forward. This can be frustrating for players when that falls against their intentions and might make them feel as though they have been denied a success that was otherwise deserved. Now obviously, if the GM had no control over the rules in your game, then you would simply play as a system dictated. This could have problems if you enter a situation where the rules for that situation are unclear, it doesn't cover it, or it disagrees with the way the narrative is playing. However, at the very least, it would be fair. Of course, I have to mention the complete opposite of this, if the authority of the rules is given entirely to the players. I don't know of any system that does this. I'm not sure if putting authority over the rules in the hands of the players would do anything interesting to the social dynamic of the game, but I would be interested to learn. Now, it has been pointed out, and it is true, that a lot of the games I've discussed are not built for long-term play. I believe that to be more a matter of design because they were not put in with certain mechanics in order to encourage a long-term version of play, and they're also very, very focused on one specific outcome of the role-playing of the game. Now, that does not have to be a general rule. It is true that most of them are designed for, for one session, 
and even Apocalypse World works best at about 5 to 10 sessions. But Burning Wheel will work for years, and in fact, the economy of that game is designed to reward players best on a cycle that works in the area of six sessions to start with and a year to really see the full cycle. By saying all this, I am not attempting to put forth the idea that sharing authority is the best model for gaming. However, I do believe it is a valid model. It does have its problems, but so does traditional gaming. In fact, look on the internet and you will find a plethora of tips, suggestions, and ways to solve problems in traditional gaming models that, to me, appear to simply be symptoms of a closed social order. For those who don't feel they would ever be willing to give up authority as a GM, I have to ask, if you were running a game and all of your players simply did not give you that authority over it, what would you do? You can't play a game without players.